Hey, welcome back to Dan's Chess Lounge, everyone. So today I'm going to bring you guys a Blitz game because uh, I love Blitz. I play Blitz every single day. If you want to play against me, go ahead and jump on chess.com. I'll have a link down in the description below. And a uh, friend requests me on there. I'm on there under Dan's Chess Lounge. The same name as the YouTube channel. And uh, we can play some Blitz. Five minutes, three minutes, whatever you desire. But bring it on. Your game better be strong because I don't play. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But, uh, yeah, I love Blitz. Let's, let's see who we're going to play today. Mobile Sailor. All right, let's go. Good luck to you, sir or lady. Let's see here. I've been playing the English lately just because, uh, you know, you don't really get too many traps and zaps in the English. And usually the better player wins. So you don't have to stay super booked up like in like the, you know, semi-slav Botvinnik variation where you need to memorize 30 moves deep. And then, you know, if you fall apart on the 31st move, then that's going to mean the end of the game for you. You know, I don't like that type of chess. You know. Actually, I just don't have time to study that type of chess anymore. So I need to play something that's a little bit more forgiving. And, uh, you know, the English is a little bit more forgiving in that aspect. You know, the fireworks come a little bit later. It's not like right away. So I've got both bishops being kettled here. And uh, it's, it's a counter-attacking position here. So if he opens up the position, then my bishops are going to be like two rifles aimed at his king side and queen side, all targeting the center. You guys see I got my NKU hat on today. I graduated from Northern Kentucky University, and uh, so sometimes I like to wear my apparel. You guys see Ohio State in the background. Uh, I went to Ohio State. I did not graduate from there, but I did my freshman year there. So I'm a lifelong Buckeye fan. Okay, so he's hitting my D3 square here, which is unprotected right now. So I'll play Queen C2. Now I'm threatening to capture... if I can just nice got two attackers my knights hitting it protecting the deep pawn and my queen I'm just gonna kick his knight say do something yep and then I can kick his oh that's pretty if I play here if he takes then I'll take his bishop then if he takes my queen, then I'll take his queen. Then he takes my rook, so that does not work. So let me solidify my B pawn first. Now I can kick his bishop. Goes back. I like to see his pieces on the rim. That's great. He's got a knight on the rim out of the game. He's got a bishop on the eighth rank. <laughs> so... Now, I can actually play something like queen c3, c3 and that's just an, an uncomfortable battery there, because if this diagonal gets open, then I'm going to be checkmating on g7, so I'm just going to leave it there and make them very uncomfortable. Matter of fact, I'll probably play, no, I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay. He kicks again. I'll scoot over. Kick his knight. And then I'll scoot right back over to c3. Queen c3. I'm going to play knight h4. 
attacking his bishop. Make him retreat again. Push here. Play the knight there. So we want to go forward. We don't want to retreat like he keeps doing. You always want to go forward. Kick his knight. His knight's going to go backwards. You see how he's being pinned back from the first and second ranks? Well, I keep going forward. Now I'm going to get out of the way of the pin. Now, I have this beautiful knight d6. Oh my god, that knight is a monster there. It's a monster there. Now I win material here that attacks his knight. Now I can go back there. That knight is a monster on d6. Just an absolute monster. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now I have this B, B file that I can push. Hmm. Yep, he wants to eliminate that knight there because it's such a monster. But I'm not going to let him eliminate it. Not so easily, I should say. That wasn't too smart. He thought he was sacking the knights, and then he was going to pick off my knight there, not realizing that the knight could just take it back. And now we're doing good. Now I just got to not lose on time. We'll play here. Now I just gotta speed things up so I don't lose on time here. Now that hits the rook. I can actually just start trading off pieces. That's threatening to play b5. Attacks the queen and the rook there. Discovery. I'm gonna, I can't explain things as, as fast. I'm go back. Yep. Check. And that just wins his queen. That wins the queen there. And he's still pinned. The the rook is still pinned there. Hmm. I'm going to have to play fast here. I'm running out of time. Check. Threatening checkmate. Threatening checkmate. Oh, I'm so sorry, mobile sailor. You put up a valiant effort until the end. You almost flagged me. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that game there. It was, uh, you see why I like the English? Because it's a counter attackers type of opening. If we go all the way back here and just run through the game real quick, you know, it was pretty closed all the way through to the very end. And it was a matter of just setting your pieces up and being patient. That's why I like the English, because you have to be patient. And 
a lot of times you have to be able to just maneuver your pieces around and it's not just so um, attack 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 no you have to sit back and do some good maneuvering understand the position and whatever is called for then you play it and from here once my knight got on d6 it was all downhill for him because that's just such a powerful knight there on d6 so he was doing everything in his power to trade it off and it was just too much then he started to just get tactically sloppy and he let me win his queen there and from there it's all downhill once you give up a queen it's kinda hard to continue to fight on so okay guys hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time and don't forget hit me up on chess.com friend request me and then we can play some blitz till next time